CFL supports women's charities for cancer and cancer awareness across the country as the Montreal Wets at 7-9 take on the 8-8 eight and eight Hamilton Ticats here in Guelph. There's no rain right now. There was a mix of rain and snow in the morning. Brandon Banks takes that kickoff out across the 35-yard line. Go through 60 minutes of football. There's no substitute. And completes that pass to S.J. Green. S.J. Green in behind the Hamilton defender still going inside the 30-yard line and going in. Stiff arm with Emmanuel Davis and taken down to the 15-yard line. And a short pass turns into a big gain, a 55-yard pickup for S.J. Green. Mark, the gain is one at second and nine. Smith with time, throws down to the goal line. The pass is caught. Close to the goal line, S.J. Green, touchdown. And the roll continues for S.J. Green. That's his eighth touchdown catch in the last seven games for Montreal. Alouette offensive line providing the necessary protection against a three- or four-man rush from the Ticats. This group of receivers, Smith's going to be able to pick them apart all day if they don't get some heat on. Here comes the blitz again. Burrows under the ocean. Oh, he's picked off. Jeff Tadale has his lead leading seven. Tadale, the former tight get. Off the running. It's Jeff Tadale. Touchdown. The Alouettes bring the pressure. More guys coming. And then the Thai Cats are able to handle at the line of scrimmage. Pressured not just about getting to the quarterback for sacks, but forcing mistakes like that one with a hurried throw. A terrific diving one-handed catch by Montreal's extraordinary S.J. Green. Extraordinary is the word for S.J. Green. The human highlight film does it again. Now on first down. Tipped by Carter, intercepted by Rico Murray. That's his second of the year, and the Hamilton defense able to turn the Alouettes away at the 15-yard line. They're vacating a spot, giving you an opportunity elsewhere. Now they fake the end around. Mazzoli's back in. He's got lots of room to run. Jeremiah Mazzoli inside the 25-yard line. Pushed out of bounds at the 23 at the Hamilton first down again of 18 yards for Jeremiah Mazzoli. For 44 yards in the game again. The play fake now the throw. CJ Gable. And these are the Hamilton Tiger Cats that make you believe this team can contend. CJ Gable's gonna come across the formation, slip out into the flat. No one follows, allowing them to go in easily. Here comes the blitz. He stands in the of the pass is cut. Deron Carter off and running. Touchdown, Montreal. And the Alouette's big play man strikes again, a 63-yard score. And suddenly, the Hamilton crowd falls silent again. What an answer by the Alouettes. Great protection. You see again the confidence, the authority with which Troy Smith throws that football. Lefevre dives ahead. The second effort should have him get there as he went over the top of the pile. This ball is not a great spot. They knock, they marked this at the 48. And I think they'll be short here. And they're short. with his third interception of the year. The Ticats with a football in Montreal territory. Down by 13 from the, just inside the Montreal 45-yard line. And Mazzoli in, gives the ball off to Brandon Banks. Banks is about to call him there. Brandon Banks inside the tail. Touchdown, Hamilton. A 35-yard score. And again, that formation. Taylor made for Jeremiah Mazzoli comes into play. And this is the play that you had a sense from the first snap that Jeremiah Mazzoli took in this ball game. This is the play you had a sense was coming at some point. Football in the field of play is not reviewable. And the snap goes over White's head. White's going to try to kick it and gets not a bad boot away to Banks at midfield. He's got some blocks in front of him. 
It's true. The Time Cats are his 42 yard try to restore the six point lead. No. It's short and brought out by the Bates. Brandon Banks was brought here to do. Make big plays on special teams. He's contributed on offense here as well. Sean White didn't get enough on it. Ball comes up short. Allowing Brandon Banks to get a jump start on that football. And down to the 47-yard line of the Tie Cats, a 20-yard gain and a Montreal first down. will surrender the single. Sure, for the tie cats, everyone else drop it. Take the ball away, they'll say. Brandon Boudreaux thought he had him, but the result is what the tie cats want anyway. It's third down with 8.9 seconds left. Seconds left. Again, a three-man rush. Smith shuffles to his left and throws towards the sideline. It's a turnover on downs, and the Hamilton Ticats are coming back to Guelph in two weeks to play a playoff game against these same Montreal Alouettes. 27-24, the Ticats win it. They clinch second in the East.